Right. Um, so if you've got any questions, far away on WhatsApp is on zero double seven two one six two six five one. If you just just giving us um, something that you can make that's so easy, uh, that's very healthy at the same time and very feeling um, that will last you into the day. Somebody just sent me a picture of pumpkin seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pumpkin seeds are lovely. You can toast these things. So, you know, the same way we've toasted our peanuts at home, like, uh -huh. that's how it is in China. Mm -hmm. Do that with pumpkin seeds, my friend. You will replace peanuts in your life. And you will start doing this pumpkin seed thing much more. I'm still trying personally. I've never been a fan of um, pumpkin seeds. You've got to. You've got to. Yeah, I've so I I'll definitely give it a shot. I'm more of a nuts, raisin person and, and a fresh fruit. Yeah. But yeah, so if you want any questions, um, so I've got so I've got the next thing, right? Uh -huh, what's the next people thing? come in with their questions. Um, the next thing is a sandwich, guys. Mm -hmm. That's one of the easiest ways to start your day. Okay. And it sounds like so simple, but I'll 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 I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think this is what actually started my um cooking, <laughs> like fashion, career thingy thingy, because I had like. An impressive sandwich from <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> and and so you see the thing for me was like um i didn't know how to shop okay mm -hmm. back when um i was in my uni days and i had to obviously make my own food and stuff um i didn't know how to shop and because i was staying at that time with someone who knew how to shop properly mm -hmm. um they just had all the stuff in the fridge that you know made this one massive sandwich one day and I couldn't believe it. I honestly couldn't. It was was a bit of a triple decker thing. So okay, <laughs> I think okay. that's why it okay. might have been impressive. Uh, um, but still, like, um, you know, this was at the start of my day, and what we did was we just toasted some of that um, some 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 of that bread, okay, mm -hmm. and then we stacked this thing up. We put an egg. We put some Vienna. We put some um, you know some greens that were left over from from last night, mm -hmm. um, and then just started stacking this thing up layer by layer. Okay, and before you know it, like once you've finished that thing, you've felt like you've actually had your day's breakfast done and dusted. Mm -hmm. And I want to inspire you guys, like chingwa guys, tunza wotinga chingwa munese. Hey, tuva tangu isaka sandwich kaki guti di di kana wakunda kubasa kwa ba. Risi sandwich jira ro tini kanga isoka zai wana paka dipe chingwa sauce. Di di doa chivura sauce wana bochi fara. Ubaofara <laughs> Right. You've got your breakfast done and dusted. I mm -hmm. promise you, sandwiches are something that are often overlooked and underdone, actually, because I feel like people can do so much more to these things. And, you know, it's also about being excited to serve um, who you're serving. Most times I know that these things are going. <laughs> right so we're going to be wrapping it up shortly but before we wrap we do so um i know you're a celebrity chef and um sometimes when i know to share my ingredients uh the expensive you're telling me about bacon and stuff but i also want to make something fancy you know yeah um so let's say somebody wants to make something fancy a healthy sandwich in the morning yeah um on a, on a small budget, right? I can buy bread and other things that are very budget friendly. What would you suggest? Okay, so uh, this topic of budgets, yo, it's, <laughs> it's a bit of an emotional thing. I'm working in a in a in a in a restaurant bar right now, right? Uh -huh. And I'm seeing people spending tons of money on alcohol every week. Uh -huh. Okay, so I mean, like the money that we think is 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 over the budget is often not over the budget if you ask budget me is also. I'm actually thinking <laughs> budget is <laughs> also. Yeah. guys let's not be um these guys that are going to be like you know thinking ah let me save money for this and then the next thing you're like ah, you know i can go to yeah one or two uh -huh. and then they end up with or whatever like how people spend their money actually um is weird because People often talk about budgets, but come on, those often go down the drain um, faster than you can think. Um, so I don't know if I could suggest anything, but 
you know, I think one of the best ways to really do a budget friendly meal mm -hmm. plan sort of thing is to actually plan okay, and realize that you need to have such and such in your fridge and then, you know, eat it according to how much you how much of it you have in your fridge. OK, mm -hmm. so you're not going to have bacon because I, I know this was a thing like when I grew up. Bacon mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you know, the end this week and did it. Mm -hmm. every day and I did three days of that week mm -hmm. and you've got enough bacon for that then do that and you'll make sure that you know you're not going to break the bank and you'll always have something that's exciting and that's always leveled up to something that you know you can call fancy and you haven't broken the bank so I don't know if I've given enough um, you know info you to have. help people save but you know like I don't know I think you have Vans and Nzere Anzo. So quickly here for the question, uh, we, yeah. we, we're running a bit out of time. It says, hello chef, what's the name of the recipe again for the oatmeal? This is coming from Yvonne. So I think you can chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. <laughs> okay, so this is a muesli, okay? <clears throat> or granola, um, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Um, it's basically like a cereal thing that you're trying to do and this is because um, you've got oats, okay? So I'm mentioning the stuff that you need again. Mm -hmm. The recipes, I think I'll, I'll run a little short of time because some of this stuff is trial and error. You also want to do it um, to your own sort of taste and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if she can come and join the group, she can, you know, ask questions and um, share stuff with us on WhatsApp. Um, but yeah, I'll run through the ingredients again. So you're going to need some oats, some any random oats actually. I mentioned rolled oats, but you can get it, oats from the shops, from the mm -hmm. supermarkets. And then you're gonna pick maybe two of your favorite seeds or nuts, okay, to toss into those oats afterwards. You need some honey, okay? Mm -hmm. And then um, basically the process is you just wanna heat up your honey, um, uh, toast your, your oats a little bit. When you take them out, drizzle some of that honey onto the, onto the oats, and then mix it up with those seeds that you've got. Um, and you've got, you know, an impressive sort of granola thing to start your day on like two minutes of your time in the morning to have yourself a breakfast awesome you mentioned a group uh how do people get in this group where do they find this group is it on social media is it on uh whatsapp where do we find it all right so um this is on whatsapp um mm -hmm. i'll toss a, a link on my on my on my status after after the show um but yeah it's basically like a big whatsapp group where mm -hmm. everyone's sort of you know throwing in um, questions on what I've spoken about this week and you know stuff that they can look forward to into the weekend and um, yeah you'll find that on my mobile so that's 0774 mm -hmm. 410 mm -hmm. 008 okay it's a bit of a hotline so you won't forget that um, and <laughs> one more time <laughs> 0774 uh -huh. 410 mm -hmm. 008 awesome yeah right and on social media where do we find you all right so on my instagram i'm going as the chef life of shingi okay um and then i'm also operating on facebook as the okay chef or the outdoor kitchen chef mm -hmm. and yeah um i mean you'll find me pretty much on every you can google me <laughs> uh, google chef shingi on the google thing it'll pretty much show everything <laughs> that i'm on facebook instagram everything um but yeah i think um be easy to get in touch Awesome, Chef Shingi, thank you so much for um, joining us and sharing that uh, breakfast recipe with us and telling us how important it is to have no more breakfast, not chimunya in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chimunya chamba, no, breakfast. You never could have my friends, you understand? Um, Kabuti, eh, when you go to soga, you can go to a new one, you can but ha. You know, it's not normal, it's not breakfast. especially in the CBD. <laughs> Let's not treat it as breakfast. Thank you so much. We're going to love you and let you go at the same time. But thank you so much. This has been, ah, man, I wish we could keep you longer. I wish I could keep you much longer. It has been your chef, your health recipes with a focus on nutrition with our uh, celebrity chef. That's Chef.